Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm excited. Glory to God, because this is another Friday. Like I was telling some people, or was it yesterday? We have seen a lot of Fridays, but we have never seen this Friday. Amen. So each day we have to thank the Lord for every day. We never take a day for granted. Good evening. Hallelujah. Wherever you're joining us from, uh, it could be um, um, Antarctica. Glory to God. There are people there, uh, uh, scientists who live there. Glory to God. So if you're there, if you're joining us from there, glory to God. Good evening. I know in other parts of the world, it's morning, it's afternoon, it's night. Glory to God. Wherever you are joining us from, glory to God. I say good evening, good morning, good afternoon in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to your name. Glory, glory, glory to your name. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. I want to welcome you, my God, to uh, this, our Friday evening service. I want to welcome you. Amen. Amen and amen. I'm trying to find you all here. Um, I'm trying to find you all. Trying to find. <laughs> okay, here we go. You're, we're right here. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, glory to God. Father. This testimony service, I'm asking you, Lord, that you will speak through your people. Glory to God. Speak through each testimony, each testimony that the people that who are who are about to uh, hear these testimonies, glory to God, that they will see themselves and see, my God, a prophecy that you provided this testimony that they will see as a prophecy. Glory to God. Hallelujah for themselves. Uh, glory to God that, Lord, even as you deliver them, you can deliver. Or deliver these people who give the testimony, you can deliver them. Lord, as you heal them, uh, glory to God. Hallelujah. These people that have given their testimony, you can heal. Even as you save, my God, uh, you're able to save. Oh, hallelujah. As you're able to protect these people with their testimonies. You're able to to do the same. Uh, glory to God. So as we embark, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, my God, my God, uh, uh, upon a, a particular work that we have to do for you, as we embark, glory to God, on a particular assignment uh, that we have to do for you, oh, glory, 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 hallelujah, 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 my God, my God, uh, that they could say, my God, uh, if God was with her, hallelujah, if God was with him, hallelujah, then he is certainly with me. Oh, my, 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 my. So, Lord, I just ask right now, uh, my God, let this be no just a, 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 an, an a, a, um, ordinary testimony that they will grasp my God, uh, hallelujah, what is theirs uh, for them to draw, for them, my God, to put it inside of them, uh, for them to see the outcome, uh, oh, hallelujah, of whatever it is that God, uh, uh, oh, my God, has uh, sanctioned them to do on the face of this earth, uh, that they're never alone, uh, no matter what, they're never alone. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, your supernatural power is able to heal. Uh, your new supernatural power is able to save. Uh, your supernatural supernatural power is able to protect. Your supernatural power is able to guide. Your supernatural power is able, able to cover them. Father, have your way today. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Praise God. I hope everybody can hear me fine. Glory to God. We want to welcome, welcome you all. Welcome, Sister Kimmy. Welcome, glory to God, Sister Camille. Welcome, Pastor Delicia. Welcome, um, Sister uh, uh, Patricia. My God, we want to welcome Pastor Reggie. We want to welcome Pastor Reggie. <laughs> we want to welcome you, Pastor Reggie. <laughs> glory to God. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Um, we also want to welcome, glory to God, uh, uh, um, Sister Sonia. We welcome you. We welcome you, Sister Felicia. Welcome you. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Craig, welcome, welcome, welcome. Brother John, welcome. Glory to God. Sister Lee, welcome. If you're out there, give me a shout out. Hopefully, I'll find time to welcome you. Amen. Amen and amen. My God, without any further ado, we have some, some powerful testimonies. The Lord said to me, about a week or two ago, actually, that um, 
there's some people that are sitting, literally sitting on their testimonies. Sitting. When you're sitting on something, it means that it's, it can't move. It's not moved. It's not moving. Glory to God. Not only is it not moving, glory to God, it cannot be seen. It cannot be seen. And God says, I just heard the word say that your testimony is a witness. Oh, my, 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 my. Your testimony is a witness. Glory to God. So he says, in this Thanksgiving season, that we ought to be giving him thanks. Glory to God. Hallelujah. For all that he has done and is doing. Amen. In this testimony, in this Thanksgiving season. Amen, somebody. So we give God glory. We give him honor. We give him praise. And we give him adoration in the name of Jesus for what he has done and what he is doing. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Uh, the first one on tonight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm trying to see my list here. My, 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 my. Uh, it's Pastor Reggie. Welcome, Pastor Reggie. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Uh, to God be the glory. Yes, I've. Um, this is the first first Friday of the twelfth month. That's right. And after this is a blessing. And um, greetings to you too, moms. You look wonderful. Thank and you. it's been about three people that we've talked to. Everyone has a a kitchen ministry. We're all in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and I are, love it because are. ministry starts at the kitchen table. You start here. This is where it starts. So this is a yeah. blessing. But my testimony is to give God honor, praise, and glory. And um, something that you said was exactly uh, what's in my testimony. Thank God for what he has done. And and just thank him because, you know, we was in there, you know, preparing for, you know, that, that special day. And, and Thanksgiving is every day. But just yes. for this holiday, as they would say, the Thanksgiving. And God brought it to my remembrance that we actually moved into this house, actually got the keys the day before Thanksgiving in 1998. We got married in August and the house was going up for sale. Someone put a contract on it. We couldn't get it. So we just kept looking around. And then later on, like in September, or October, the guy said, well, they took the contract off the house. So I said, okay. So then in uh, November, around the, uh, the day before Thanksgiving, the guy said, look, we're getting you into this place. Your credit is not good. Matter of fact, you have none. Your credit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said, you don't have good credit. You don't have bad credit. You don't have no credit. Yeah, that's you know, all said, God. Yes, he said, Wells Fargo laughed at you, and, and you laughed back with him, and you told Wells Fargo that one day y'all would want to do business with me. Well, long story short, that I, um, when he came, he got this, he said, well, get you in, rent with option to buy. And I never yeah. heard of him. So I said, this got to be God. And he was saying, yes. okay, this is what we do. Let's say you put down... A thousand dollars, and then put down a thousand dollars for security, thousand dollars for your first month. Mm -hmm. Each month, a hundred dollars will come off your thousand and go towards your closing mm -hmm. at the end of the year. So by that time, no one could get it. You got first crack. At the end of the twelve months, we got money back, and we also got the place. And uh, actually, because Barbara and I, we cried, i never forget it. We actually got the keys the day before Thanksgiving. And we came in, the house was empty. We just praised God, worship, cried. And actually, God showed us what to do with the house because the first person that got saved in here was Linda. And <laughs> God allowed this house to be a home of salvation. And that's why, you know, salvation has been um, like in us and rooted in us to uh, win souls for the kingdom of God. And with that, um, so we've been here now for like over 25 years or better. And God has blessed this place. And we are still here and Wells Fargo want to do deals. And I let them know, well, I don't need you now because you didn't try to help me out then. So I don't need you now. So but to God be the glory. Uh, my last testimony is that on Wednesday, see, Wells Fargo came back. They're trying to get me a loan to get a loan. I'm like, no, thank you. I don't need it. 
And so um, I knew it. I just said, God, I knew you would do it one day. Um, it was a young man on my job that the Lord allowed me to lead to Christ. He, he was a Catholic, but I shared some things with him. And I asked him, you know, did he want to give his life to Jesus? I say, listen, even Mary had to submit to the own with the child. I say he never called her mother. He always called a woman. But just yeah. to share with him something, some biblical truth. And I say, you know, Larry, if you want to give your life to Jesus, I say it's the only way you're going to see the kingdom of God. Yes. I say, would you like to do it? He say, yeah, but how do I? I say, we do it now. So mm -hmm. we stood right in the middle of the floor at Amazon. And the Lord allowed me leading the Christ. I say, don't worry, no one is going to disturb us because this is the work of the Lord. And That's the man right. received Jesus Christ as his savior. And with that, that are my testimonies. God bless you all. Thank you, Mom. God bless Praise and God, God bless. Praise God. I'm Amen. glad you did not sit on that. I'm glad you did Amen. not sit on that. That is a, I absolutely love it. The day before Thanksgiving, my, my, my. The day before, the day Thanksgiving. before Thanksgiving, my God. And he brought I, it I to my so remember. much in that. What was yes, that? Yes, like the day before. Yes, we was already giving them faith, but... The man just called while we was preparing dinner. And he said, can you meet me at, do you have a, didn't he have a bank account? We had, the, we had, we had checks because of the wedding in August. We had money. So we had to go get a cashier's check from Ace check cashing spot. We had to get a cashier's check, gave it to the guy. He gave us the keys. We signed the papers for rent out. He brought everything to me. We walked around here, came in here, and cried, and snided, and did everything. And everything was in here, Pastor Marsha, that we prayed for. Everything. We said we didn't want any grass. We didn't have any grass. We said we wanted a washer, refrigerator, stove. It was here. As a matter of fact, it was a driver. What we didn't ask for had ceiling fans in every room. We didn't have nothing about that. So God, really, he give you more than you even ask or even think. So... To God be the glory. God Amen. be the glory. Amen. He, he, he gives you more than you ask for. Exceedingly, yes. abundantly, above, yes. Yes. above all that you can yes. ask or think. Yes. My, 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 my. Thank glory to God. And Hallelujah. that's exactly what Amen. happened. So as he has done it for you, glory to God. There's somebody yes. that wants to buy a house. There's yes. somebody that it looks impossible. Oh, Rabbi Don't Saya. give up on God. God Don't give up. Purchase a house. Come but on. as God did it for you, God yes. Yes. Somebody, yes. whomever it is that wants to buy a house, this that's is your come on. This is that's your right. Glory to God. Did God work through the Kingston, work through all the red tape and whatever and made it possible. So if, as God did it for Pastor Reggie, listen, receive it. All you got to do is open your mouth and say, I receive my keys. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Pastor Amen. Marsha, tell, yeah. tell them it doesn't even matter what the interest rate was. Our interest rate at that time was 9%. Yes. And our mortgage is still cheaper than a lot of mortgages now. Hey, man. <laughs> I love it. It doesn't matter what the interest rate said. You heard him, right? <laughs> because you're a kingdom kid. Amen. That's right. That's Amen. right. That's God right. Bless. Uh -huh. bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Oh, my, 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 my. Glory to God. I mm. absolutely love it. I 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 love it. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Our next testimony. Hallelujah. I'm glad Pastor Reggie did not sit on it because somebody, oh, hallelujah, uh, 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 got strength to pursue their house. Glory to God. Pur purchasing their house. Amen. The next testimony you will hear is Pastor Dolores. Can you hear me? I can absolutely hear you. Well, you can't see my beautiful face. But you, can't. <laughs> uh, you know, I wanted to see it. I wanted to see it. <laughs> but Pastor, you're the queen, okay? <laughs> you're the princess. <laughs> you're the... <laughs> Glory to God. I give God thanks, first of all. I thank God for my leadership. Amen. I have not been under leadership such as I am now. Such a anointed leadership. Uh, people who are very compassionate, who have sold themselves out for the Lord. I'm just in awe. And I count myself honored to be under this leadership where we have uh, healings and miracles and everything going on, even as it is in heaven. 
we doing it at Everlasting Life Christians Church. Ask the Lord to lead us. Our leadership, our shepherds, and I give thanks Amen. for them on tonight. Amen. I give Amen. thanks. Now, and we thank, I God, have, for, uh, and we thank God for having you as well as being a part of of of, of this uh, uh, corner of Zion. Glory to God. We thank yes, God yes, for you yes, every yes. day. Amen. Yes, yes. You know, I've been in this church. Um, I I joined. I started. I sat down and talked with you and Pastor um, Sam. It was September the 9th. Um, 2009. I've been with this ministry for 14 years. For, 14 years. Dami was 14 years old when I came. Dami was 13 or 14 years old when I came to the ministry. Wow. Was how was how old was how old? Dami was about 13, 14 years old then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 13, 24. Yeah, she's about that. Cause I I joined in 2009. 2009, okay. 19, and this, I think this March, um, not March. Uh, anyway, I've been here. This is how long I've been in, in the assembly. Glory to God. That's the point yeah. I'm making. Praise and God. I know that the mm -hmm. Lord have led me here. Uh, yeah. For kingdom business and for kingdom work. Amen. With no doubt, I give God praise. praise so I God. have a couple of testimonies I want to uh, mention. The first, first is, is very important to me. Um, about 2015, I had a brother who uh, was on dialysis. So long story short, I brought him home with me and we had mold in the house. And so I went to the rental office, no, to the doctors, let them know what was going on. So if anything came out of it, it would have been on records that I had come to the doctors to get checked out also. And at that time, 2015, the doctors told me I was a diabetic. So yes, remember that. Yes, so I was on medication for a minute, but this March coming, well, I don't like medicine. I just don't like taking pills and all that. I, I just don't. So aspirin will make me high. <laughs> uh, aspirin. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I uh, took the medicine for a while, but when the COVID, just before the COVID started, uh, I stopped taking my medicine. I was getting the medicine. <laughs> it's not funny, forgive me, Lord. I would get the medicine. I didn't tell my doctor I stopped taking the pills, but I would get the medicine. I would pay for it, bring it home, sit it on the counter. One medicine I had filled every 45 days, and the other was 90. So I started getting mixed up when I was feeling what. So I just stopped taking it. So I told my doctor, I had a meeting with her, that I stopped taking my pills. So she looked at me a certain kind of way. Well, I said, well, I've just stopped taking them. So this um, March, I make four years. I have not had been taken any pills at all. Praise I, God. I called by shot cut up on Saturday at the end of God can do it. It's where your faith is. Sabo Shanda. That's it. It's That's where it. your faith is. You have to believe. That's it. And then mm -hmm. you see. And That's uh, it. She, said, she was looking at me kind of funny. I had her legs crossed and looking at me kind of funny for hand on her face. Look at me kind of funny. But I have not taken my pill. I told her. I told her a year ago that I was not taking them. I told her. So she didn't bother to put me on anything else or put me back on them. So I really had to change my way of eating, though. I had to change my way of eating. Amen. And the, Lord, and the Lord has been blessing me. And I give them thanks. I give them praise. Amen. I give them praise. I give them praise. Hallelujah. Praise yeah. God. Glory yeah. to God. And awesome. I love what you said. Glory to God. I love what you said. You said that you change your eating. Yeah. You change your eating. And yeah. um, uh, that's important to know that there are times God will heal. I mean, God heals and does all. Mm, wow. Amen. And does all that he, 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 he chooses to do. He's God. Hallelujah. But then we also have our own part that we must, that we have, that we have to do. This is true. Amen. This that we have. Um, I just heard it in the spirit. Thank God. Not in your case, but in somebody's case out there, God said there is somebody that he, he healed. He touched their lives from some kind of sickness, from something. But the medicine, but the doctor got all the glory. Oh, Rabbi. Jesus. He said the doctor got all the glory. Hey. Yes. Jesus, Whoa, Jesus, Jesus. I, there's nothing wrong with doctor. I have one. 
Amen. But uh -huh. I never give the doctor or Rabasaya oh, or the I never, 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 I never. No, Stay, oh, he's a good no, doctor. Indeed. God bless you, doc. So on and so forth. I'll get his yes. opinion and all of that. But yes. ultimately, I got a bigger doctor that overrides. Oh my God. Yes, yes, all the yes. Medicine. yes, yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. All the medical opinions. Yes, yes, yes. All the diagnosis. Korabasaya. All the prognosis. Yes, oh, yes. 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 That I'm trying oh. not to oh, glory Jesus. to God. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I got a bigger hey. doctor. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah, I yeah. got my God, my God, the one. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. My God, my God. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I had to pull it back. You ever see it? I, I had to pull it back. <laughs> That's all right, Pastor. Go ahead. You got the green light. <laughs> oh my God. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Glory to God. It's okay. Yes. We're not saying, you know, stop taking your this and doing that. Glory to God. Amen. Yes. Uh, it's yes. according to your faith. Glory to That's God. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I think it was uh, Judy a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, said, my God, I'm on 10 medicine. And I remember giving the prophetic word that there's somebody that's about to get off their medication. And she uh, 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 she claimed that word. It's according to your faith. It's according it to your faith. It Hallelujah. My God, and I'm, I'm here to tell you that you, somebody's faith was was uh, 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 got stronger with this testimony. Hey. Amen. You, somebody's you, faith got stronger. My God, and you needed to give it, and I thank God you give. You may have given it already because I've heard it. Maybe you told me whatever the case may be, but yes, you have yes, had to give it tonight because yes, you yes, yes. made somebody. My God, your faith got. My God, got very very stronger. I just heard the word impenetrable. Oh, by God, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In other words, Ooh. they have a faith bigger than a mustard seed. Like, listen, devil, yeah. you said I'm sick, I'm this, I'm that. The doctor said I'm sick. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. It is the fact, my God, that mm. I'm sick. I need that person to say it. But the truth is, oh, I know who my healer is. Yeah, Glory yeah, to yeah, the yeah, God. Yeah, I know yeah, 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 yeah. extra yeah. body parts. Oh, yeah. Lord God. Let me Thank stop. Let me Lord. stop. God yeah. bless you. That was awesome. That was yeah. powerful. That was amazing. And I, I love it. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. And Pastor, we never, we never, never, ever want Dr. Boko Shana to forget to give God the glory. Yes. yes. It's God. Who gets all the glory? Amen. You know, and it was confirmation of what you said about someone was probably needing to hear this testimony tonight because I say, Lord, I say it's been four years and I have not given the testimony. I say it's the reason that you want me on tonight. I said that yesterday. Yes. Wow. Wow. That you want me, is some reason why you want me on tonight to give the testimony. And I give that now, Pastor. I'm not a person who. How can I put it? I'm not crazy about food. Let me just put it that way. You're not I'm crazy not about crazy what? Food, about eating, about uh -huh. food. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't open dolls and food. But you used to see me, Pastor, I think once we were at a meeting and I was eating all this junk food. Remember you watching me that day? I've seen all the cakes and pies. Oh, God, you remember and that? You, you were in shock. You look at me. You was in shock. Oh, my gosh. You remember that? I can't forget. I was at, um, was it Sandy Cove? Sandy Cove. Yeah. Sandy Cove, I, I, you had pies and sweets. <laughs> well, I tried to look at you and what you looked at me. And about three different, four different desserts. And you, you pushed the food aside and I was like, wow. <laughs> you know what, Pastor, before I started eating right with this diabetic, I would get up in the morning, eat a bar of chocolate candy for breakfast. I would eat a donut for lunch. And then I might eat some potatoes just for dinner. And that was my pattern. That's how I ate. Food, wow. I, I was always a junk eater. I'm going to tell this real quick. I, I don't want to hold, hold you up. But uh, I was eating so much chocolate, oh, 25 years ago, maybe. I would eat at least eight to 10 bars of chocolate candy a day. Whoa. A day. That was my food. A day I was satisfied with that chocolate. So it got so that my body got infected. And I had to go to the doctors. And my doctor's out of town. So I went to a walk-in clinic. 
So the doctor, like I said, wasn't taking liking pills. And so he gave me these pills. I took them home and sat them on my nightstand because my doctor's out of town. When my doctor came back, I went to him and took the pills to him. He said, these are the wrong kind of pills that that doctor gave you. They are the wrong pills. He said to me, he said, with all the chocolate that you've been eating, he said, your, your kidneys could not flush all of that out. He said, he showed me the chart of a human body. He said, now you have an infection on, on your pancreas, the end of your a pouch of uh, infection. So he gave me these pills to heal me. So I stayed off with chocolates for three and a half years. But now I know that with this, my daughter said, Mama, well, if you want to stop taking your pills, you're going to have to have some kind of plan for eating. You're going to have to just can't come off the pill and just still eat the way that you would eat. So the Lord has been gracing me and helping me to do that. So I give him thanks. I give him praise. I, I just give him thanks. Amen. I Amen. give him thanks. I give him thanks. Oh, so the second, second testimony is my BGE bill. Um, I was paying something like the hundred and maybe twenty dollars, one hundred thirty dollars a month. My BGE bill now is like thirty seven dollars a month. God has blessed me. Thirty seven dollars a month. $58 a month. It's been like that since last year. The Lord has blessed me with the BGE bill. Wow. I give him that. So the girls said, oh, it must be because of your age. I said, well, I don't care what it is because of the Lord's <laughs> blessing. <me."> Hello. <laughs> the Lord I is love blessing it. me. Basically, Hello. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. The Lord is blessing me. So, and another testimony I have is that um, I think a month ago, we were in service, and the Lord had inspired you to ask the saints uh, to give an offering. I think you might remember, and to give everything we had in our pocketbooks. I think that was what the Lord gave you, instructed you to tell us. So, yes, I had some money in my pocketbook, and uh, well, I had had a hundred dollars in that. I forgot about that. I was gonna give the minister Stephanie for the um, you all celebration. And I was trying to find Minister Stephanie and Jason and give it to them before the service started. But somehow I couldn't connect with them. So I had it in my pocket, but I forgot. So when you made that call, I forgot about the $100 was there. And so I said, well, Lord, I said, all I had, I remember I thought I having $27. But even with that, it was another extra 20 in there. But I'm saying to the Lord, I said, well, Lord, uh, I don't have much to give. So I told you, the Lord spoke back to me. He said, you're little would become much when you place it in the master's hand. Yes. I said, okay, Lord. So I went in my pocketbook. And when I went and looked, it, there was $100 in there also. So I gave everything. And you prophesied that the Lord would bless me. So yes. it was two weeks ago. Now, a month ago, I went to pay my rent. And so I didn't get the statement in the mail. So I couldn't get in touch with the, uh, the lease and agent. So I said, well, I don't want to be late paying my rent. So I finally got a hold of him. I said, well, I, I want to pay my rent. I, and I said, it was 1346. And I told her, I want to pay my rent. So she said, um, oh, she says, uh, she went into the computer. She said, well, we gave you a credit. But this is the, the, the Sunday I gave my money. The Monday I went up there. And that's when the Lord blessed me the day after. She said, we have given you a credit for $390. What? She said, for your rent for next month, which is this December, I paid it today. She said, also, I owe 70 for the water bill. She said, so you don't owe any water bill for November or December. So with me giving, the Lord bless me doubly so. Jesus. OMG. I can't, I'm speechless. OMG. And woman of God, the exact words were, there's some people in here. Either somebody or some people in here that should empty their pocket. God said, give it to me. Give it to me. I, I'm going to do yeah. something for you. I'm going to, oh, my, 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 my. Pastor Marsha, now I don't have any problem with this. It's, it's beginning to be a joy to give. Jesus. And not just of my finances, of myself, of my substance, whatever I have. It's, it's beginning to be a, be a joy. Sometimes you go, sometimes when the Lord's taking, we go to thinking about it. Like I told you about the um, resurrection seed that was 331000 a gave. And, and he said, oh, you don't have to pay that now. You can pay it next month. 
And then he said, well, you can just pay it in increments. You don't have to pay it all at one time. I remember that. Guess, oh, guess what? I had it on my nightstand. Oh, I listened to the devil because I already got my mind made up what I'm going to do. So I had it on the nightstand. And when I came, I gave it. I didn't wait for the next month. I didn't do it in the increments. And I paid my money. I gave it. Yes. So that's what it is. I give God I remember. Thanks. I remember. I remember that yes. very clearly. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. you said, you told the devil, devil, you're not going to tell me. You're not going to dictate to me and tell me what to do. I bless that's the name I sure of the tell Lord who that. is worthy to be praised. And you know what? Obedience. Obedience. Glory to God. And you're the Lord saying that you obey the spirit of truth. Hey. Yeah, but oh, I'm, Jesus. I'm, 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 I gotta write that down. The spirit of truth, Korabasa, spoke that day. That's the spirit of God that spoke it, Korabasa. Glory to God. And and, and God honored it. God honored it. Glory to God. There's another person that God honored their their, 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 their empty pocket seed. Glory to God. I call it empty pocket seed. Glory to God. Amen. Because he said he he loves a sacrificial offering. He loves a sacrificial offering. Glory to God. And just as he has done it for you, hallelujah, I know there's some other people around with testimonies. God bless you, woman of God. My yeah, mind. Debt, debt cancellation. Debt cancellation. Thank you, Lord. Thank I've you, Lord. I've never seen any rental office. And I've been around <laughs> on this land for a few minutes. <laughs> oh. I've never seen any or heard of any debt cancellation. <laughs> Hallelujah. Through the rental office. Never heard that before. Never heard yes, that. Indeed. Glory yes, to God. Indeed. Amen. Yes, Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. 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 Pastor Marsha, um, yes, if I could say tonight, there are a lot of things that we desire to have. Yes. And that we think we need to have. But if I could say this right now, all I would desire is more of Jesus. Because mm. wow. he told me a couple of weeks ago that he was more than money. Mm. Whoa. He says, I'm more than money. So I thank him because you're loving Jesus and being obedient to him. You have everything you need. He will supply at the appointed yeah. time. There's an appointed time and season for everything. Amen. We might be asking for our house, but we can't pay our rent. We might be asking for food, but we might need healing. So Amen. God knows what we need. Amen. He never All fails. He never time. fails. He Amen. hasn't failed me yet. Amen. Hey, come on, girl. <laughs> he has not failed me I yet. I love it. He, he hasn't has failed, failed me yet, yet. either. Hallelujah. <laughs> so, Pastor Marsha. Yes, my dear. That's all for now. Amen. <laughs> love it. I love you, beautiful woman of God. God I love you more. God bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. You powerful, 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 powerful. Amen. That's all I'm going to say. Powerful. <laughs> Glory to God. And as God has done it for you, Hallelujah! In obedience, the Lord said the Spirit of Truth came in, and you Thank did you. not question it. You went ahead and you did what God spoke. Hallelujah! That's and then you see the result. He said He will guide you in all truth. He Abbas. said so. My God! Now that He guide you in all truth, it, he, he will cause. My God! He says I will command the blessing in I in Deuteronomy twenty eight. He says I will command the blessing. He commanded that, that rental office, my Lord. Yes. Jesus, to yes. Give you that credit. He commanded the VG yes, was the VGE, and he commanded the water growing to God. Yes, 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 He yes. says I will command the blessings upon you. Oh my God! I love it. I love it. I love it. God bless you, my dear. Bless you. you. <laughs> That's all, name. folks. <laughs> praise God. Praise love God. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, Pastor. Love you, my darling. Amen, 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 and amen. <laughs> and the joy of the Lord is the strength of his people. <laughs> amen. <laughs> I'm God. <laughs> amen. <laughs> amen. Sister Abina, praise the Lord. You are next in line. Blessed night, mom. Blessed night, indeed. Blessed night. Um, well, um, it had a day that I was going home and I was in a taxi, but while I was in the taxi going, it had like some guys like they, they went on a robbery or something like that and police like they was racing them. And um, 
the car that I was in was a little way in front of them and the 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 car the truck it actually was a truck that the um the police was racing down and um apparently he was they was really speeding and literally they were supposed to hit us and we would go over on the other side of the highway. We was to flip over. But it was and I was on that side and it was literally like somebody just like push the truck. It was literally like if like well, it gotta be God, it can't be nobody else. It was mm. pushed and it rolled. So how the our car was supposed to be, it ended up with the truck instead. The oh. the truck had flipped because it was supposed to hit us and we would have been on the other side of the highway, which was the cars was going down and we was going up. But it was like something just bounced it off. And I was mm. at that side. And you know, the driver stopped the car instant and he was like, Woo, you we would have died if this truck had hit in this car because it was just a small car and it was a truck. Ooh. And it so just literally bounced off. Like somebody so, just so push it. Exactly. So basically where the car should have ended up, like something push it the other side so it wouldn't be in on the oncoming tra traffic. Is that what you're saying? No, it will no, it will not hit the car that I was in, which was on my side. Oh, gotcha. The, gotcha. the truck would have hit on my side because I was yes. in the back seat. It would have yes. hit on my side and mm -hmm. we would have flipped and go over on the other side of the highway. Mm -hmm. My Lord so, Jesus. Know, I, and I was not safe as yet, but I used to go to church. You know, I would always go to church and, you know, still give praise to God, although I wasn't saved. So I just want to say that, you know, even though I wasn't saved, I always see God mercy in my life. You know, Amen. he always protected me because people used to say, Gil, you're so lucky. I used to say, that's not luck. That's God's hands in mm, my life. My and my I never had appreciated. It's only now that, you know, as I look back, I appreciate that God did so much for me. And, you know, I'm so, so thankful. And I always say, you know, God, I can't thank you enough, but I'm going to thank you anyway. You know, I'm going to praise you anyway. You know, so I just want to thank God for his mercy over my life. Mm -hmm. I have seen it time and time again. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes we doesn't appreciate the little stuff that no. God does for us. Mm -hmm. You know, and I was one of them. And it's only now that I know that, you know, it was really God and it wasn't just luck. You know, it was really God, you know. So mm -hmm. I got to say to somebody, you know, just don't doubt God because he is there. And he yes. loves you regardless. Yes. Yes. So I, yes. I give him all the praise and Amen. glory. I'm, and I'm thankful for my life, for him saving me and bringing me this far. Yes. Wow. And he saved your life several times. I, I don't know. Many times. I, I don't know. You have some you have some big work to do for God because he has saved you many, many, Amen. many times. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He has sanctioned you, placed you here on earth for such a time as this. And I give Amen. God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise, and all the adoration for what he's doing in your life. Because, my God, some people couldn't have uh, uh, survived what you have, what you have survived. Amen. Hallelujah. But you're an, you're an overcomer. Mm. Amen. I you are an it overcomer. I I'm going to say it for the third time. You are an overcomer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In the name Amen. of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank Amazing. you, Mom. And I love you so much. Oh, and I appreciate you all the way. For sure. Amen. You and Dad also. Amen. Amen. And amen. Okay. Well, we are connected, so. <laughs> amen. I know. <laughs> Y'all are one. Amen. God bless you, Mina. God bless you, honey. Okay, bless night. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome, amazing. Literally, God shifted the whole scene of the accident.
the whole scene of the accident was shifted my god i just i don't know about you if someone said falling in love with jesus is the best thing mm, my 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 it's the best thing i ever done my god my god my god or oh, falling in love with jesus can i say it one more time falling in love with jesus is the best thing i ever done amen 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 and amen glory to god let us welcome Sister Ria, Abina's auntie. <laughs> good night, Hello. all. Good night, good night, good night. Good night, good night. Hi, mommy. Hi, Hello. family. Hello. Hello. Um, Hello. I have, to me, I think it's, it's very, it's a blessing from I God. Know. Yes, I understand. They are the doctors, they are the nurses, they are the surgeons, but we have the best surgeon of all. His name is Jehovah Jireh. Right. So my husband had surgery on November 21st in mm -hmm. the suburban hospital in John, uh, John Hopkins Hospital. Yeah. And it's it was for his hernia. And the doctor said he was keep calling me, but I never heard the phone ring. He said, I wanted to let you know that I had to go back in. And I told him why you had to go back in. He said, because while he was coming out, he had came out. While he was coming out, he saw some stuff looking like it was, wasn't natural. So, and I remember that morning, I called the prayer line and we was praying that morning. And mom was saying, Rhea, we are going to go back in again. We are going to go back in. We are going back in. And I never understood it. And I was like, mom must keep saying we're going back in. Because we had prayed for him the day before. And then we prayed for him again that morning. And then when the doctor said he had to go back in, I was like, wow, God is so good. God is so good. He is awesome. Because we always, I always hear my mom said when she was alive, you always have one foot in, one foot out. And, but I never understood. But when I heard you Tuesday morning, November 21st, saying we are going back in. I was like, thank you, God. I said, people that thank God is not for real. Yes, he is real. He is awesome. He is awesome. And I thank God for this prayer line in the morning. I thank God for you, mom and dad, because we think it's just nothing. And people go, oh, my God, we're praying again. We praying for everything. Yes, we praying for everything. <laughs> we pray. We pray. <laughs> we we gotta pray. Amen. Yes, pray and I thank, Amen, and I thank you guys for Monday, and I thank you guys for that Tuesday, November twenty first, for just going back in and praising up God and thanking God for healing hands and thanking God for Him coming out safe. I just want to say thank you. Because sometimes we think it's in, it's nothing. Everything is like nothing. Everything is possible with God. Mm. It's not impossible. Everything is possible. Mm. Because he said his promises are yes and amen. And amen. So I just want to say thank you. And I thank God every day for his grace and favor and mercy. Yeah. I just thank him. I can't stop thanking him. I just oh. thank him even when there's nothing to thank him for. I thank him anyway. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Never say, so no, no, no. Let me, let me correct you on that one. Never say that even if there's nothing. The fact that you're inhaling and exhaling, thank him. So even so, even so, so never say, there's, although Amen. there's nothing to thank him for. So even maybe if I can't think of what it is to thank him for. I know there's a whole lot to thank him for. So Lord, Amen. I just thank you for everything. <laughs> I thank you to inhale and exhale. I thank you that Amen. I have a vision to see. I, I thank you, my God, my God, that I have a Lord and Savior. My grandmother used to say, I thank Amen. God for Jesus. <laughs> grandmother she was she she's also a thanking i don't even Amen. know she said she's every day she said i thank god for jesus glory to god and i thank jesus for the blood amen. <laughs> amen praise god, amen. Praise god. Every amen. Day, amen every day all day every day all day amen 
Praise God. Praise Amen. God. Thank Praise you. God. Amen. Amen. Um, for whatever reason, I'm seeing your daughter, and the Lord is telling me that um she's gonna come to him maybe in 2024, <laughs> but she's gonna she she's she's coming, she there's gonna be a coming around for her. There's gonna be a turning around for your daughter. Amen. Thank and you, your son, I claim it too for your son as well. Amen. 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 There's a turning around. Amen. A turning around. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus. Jesus' name. Praise God. Amen. God, amen. 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 Be blessed. Powerful, amen. powerful, powerful. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. They went back in, but God spoke it. You knew it. And give him, give amen. him all the honor, all the glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. My God, that he had to go back in. Hallelujah. But Dr. Jesus was right there. Oh, my, 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 my. They could have missed it. Amen. Ah, yeah, yeah. They could have missed it, but they didn't. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Why? Because yeah. Dr. Jesus yes. was overseeing everything. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Everything. Thank you, my Jesus. God, to the yes. Hey, hallelujah to the Lord. Oh, the Lord of Amen. Lords. My Jesus. God, my God, my God. Oh, my, my, my. We give him uh, again. I can't stop doing it. I can't stop saying it like you say. I give him all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Oh, call me, Thank call you. Me a, call Thank me a, you. God bless. Call, call amen. Me amen. Call, call me a praising fool. It's okay. <laughs> amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Be blessed. Yeah, it's okay with me. I will do it any all day, every day. Amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. Jehovah Rapha. Glory to God, our healer. My God. Amen. Was in that operating room, my Lord. Amen. You bless my dear. Amen. Amen. Thank you, mommy. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to welcome next uh Minister Roxanne. Hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can't okay. see you, but I can hear you. I guess tonight is just a hearing night, no seeing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> good evening mom good to see you good to be on tonight uh to share my testimonies i have um two from the past and one actually today and um i just want to give god thanks for the opportunity to share um the testimonies from the past it was uh things that i shared before but not openly just in a private setting with uh, people, but um, I just felt led to share it because you don't know who out there is going through what I went through. And um, so the testimony is to help give someone else hope and um, to let God, to let others know that God is able. Yeah. Back in um, 2005, um, uh, everything was going well in my life. Um, I had my two kids, three kids at the time, um, and uh, we had a house, uh, we had businesses, and um, uh, we moved in the house in 2005. It was built from the ground up, and um, it was perfect. It was perfect. You know, like the Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Uh, mm -hmm. This one is, uh, what is it? This one's just right, just right, you know, so that house was just right for us. It wasn't too big, wasn't too small. It was just right. It was just right for us. But things just went downhill. Oh, God. Mm. Wow. Things just went downhill in 2005. Um, lost the business. Had two cars that were repossessed um, within two weeks of each other. Um had um had my gas turned off had my um the house was both gas and electric the gas was cut off um had water cut off but i thank god that he helped us to get through uh the marriage fell apart but god was in it he kept us um at the time i didn't know 
that there was resources out there to help with utility bills and, you know, and uh, electric and water and things like that. I didn't know that at the time um, because um, we always had it to pay utilities, but the gas was cut off. I thank God when I look back, I can only say it was God. Um, mm. The house was so cold in the winter, you could see your breath. But we had the electric on. I was able to cook in a skillet. I was able, an electric skillet. I was able to keep hot water in a crock pot. That was the only way we could take a hot bath. Um, had a space heater in the room and that's how we stayed warm. And that was the only room that we stayed in. So when I look back, I just say, God, it was only you that got wow. us through. Yes. It was only you that got us through. And at that time, um, uh, the house was up for foreclosure. Um, uh, the company who had bought the house, uh, they didn't even know that I was in the house. Uh, because I needed to find out, you know, when were they going to come get the house? What was going on? Because I had no idea of when these people were going to come. But I thank God, because when I reached out to them, they were shocked. They didn't even know anybody was in the house. So I thought that they were going to, like, tell me to leave or, or push me out. But I was able to stay there another year without yeah. having to pay any rent. One year? Or anything. One year? One year. What? One year. You've known you for so many years. You never, you never told me that before. Wow. I, I, That's I why God said that so many of you, us, us are sitting on some massive testimony. That's a massive testimony. One year? Yes. One year. One year. Wow. So I thank God. I thank God. So eventually I had to move and um, I ended up moving in with my mother-in-law. This is the second testimony from my past. That night, um, uh, Ezel was only three months old. So March of 20, uh, uh, no, March of 2006, I moved in with my mother-in-law and um, the kids were very young. Ezel was only three months old. Siobhan was about eight, Chanel was about six, Charnay was about three or four. And it was really hard. It was really hard um, to lose everything. And then I had to go, you know, live with my mother-in-law. And But I have to look back and I have to say, God, thank you that you made it possible for me to have a place to go with my kids. Oh, come on now. So I have to thank God. So... Um, we moved in and she said there was like these uh, baseboard uh, heaters along the walls and she said they don't work. So you can't, you know, if you need heat, um, you just have to turn it on from upstairs because the the base uh, board heaters don't don't work. So this was a very, very, very old house. And um, so that night. I just could not sleep. I just could not sleep. I would lay down, get up, lay down, walk around, go back, lay down, could not sleep, could not sleep. Just, just, just so much. I thought, well, maybe it was because of, you know, what we had just gone through. We had to leave the house and just walk away from everything. But I decided, okay, let me just uh, start unpacking. Now I, I saw why I could not sleep. I got to one box and that box had a huge burn mark on it. And it was up against the baseboard heater that I was told that did not work. And if it had burned anymore, it would have caused a gas explosion. So I thank God I thank God he spared my life. He spared the life of my mother-in-law and my brother-in-law and my children. 
I thank God that there was no explosion, that we're here today alive. My God, after everything we've been through, I thank God. It is only God who has gotten us through. My God, I give him praise. I give him thanks that my children are well, they're healthy, they're strong. You know, my daughter, she graduated. My oldest daughter, she graduated from Bowie State. My youngest is going to Maryland. My, my youngest son is about to graduate this year. My oldest son is doing great in photography, has his own photography business. We came from a hard, hard time. But I thank God we made it through. We made it through and we're making it. And things are getting better. And I Praise thank God. God. I Praise thank him. I thank him. I thank him. Praise I God. thank him. Praise God. I Amen. thank him. Amen. Because Amen. without him, I know I wouldn't have made it. Because there were so many times I felt like, okay, well, just end it all. I said, no, you got to stay here. There were times I would sit at Laurel Lake, sit in the car and think, okay, I'll just run the car off into the river. But God said, no. God said, no. Amen. So I'm here Amen. to um, just give God thanks and give him praise because I know it's God. I know mm. it's God. It's nothing of me. It's all him. And I thank God. I thank God. I thank him. My God. And my testimony for today, whoo, Jesus, you are something else. My yeah. God. What what do you know when I say you always, you always say, God, you just you shut you're such a big show off. Yeah, he is a big show off, a big show off all the time. My God, I had a bill that has been just honestly just on my nerves, just on my nerves for almost a year. And I've been trying to get this bill taken care of and, and I would, you know, talk to mom and, you know, mom, I did this and I did that, but it was always some kind of obstacle, always some kind of barrier, always. I'm like, mom, what is going on? And she said, the enemy is, is coming against it. He doesn't want you to, 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 to prosper. He wants to keep you down. He wants you to, 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 to lose it all. Just miss, you know, everything and just give up on God. I'm like, oh my God, my God, my God. So I reached out again to this company to, to, to help me and I called, no answer. Left messages, no answer. Gave paperwork, no response. Sent emails, no response. I mean, just almost a year, even took it in face to face and they still could not find it. Yes. So today, Woo, and I, one second, and I remember, I remember I asked you, are you sure? You, because this is a government agency for them to lose your paperwork. Yes. They <laughs> and you said, lost I brought it. it. You said, I took it. it. <laughs> they lost it. But God came through. He came through. He came through. He came through. So I give God praise and I give him thanks. There was a supernatural debt cancellation of $3,642. He's a show off. <laughs> God is a big time show off. Thank you, Jesus. My Ooh. God, my God. Wow. Debt cancellation. Glory yes. to God. Hallelujah. Yes. I remember about, I was it about uh, maybe a week or two. I just looked at you and say, I said, I looked at you and I heard the word miracle. And you're like, yes. Amen. The word miracle. And you're like, yes. Hey, glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's your miracle. <laughs> Amen. Miracle. And I don't know if you remember, Mom, there was a couple of Sundays ago that the Lord spoke and said that there's some bills out there that people have, and he's going to put a thumbtack on it. And what? he said he's going to take care of those bills that have been on people's minds. Yeah. And I thank God this bill was taken care of. And now it is completely off of my mind. What? <laughs> You know, maybe make some God. noise. <laughs> I thank God. I thank God. Oh, hallelujah. This God is too good. Oh, mama. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yes, my God. Is. My God. My God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 A supernatural dead cancellation. My God. My God. My God. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm giving glory. God has been speaking it heavily 
including wasn't this past Sunday? I think it was a Sunday before that. Dead cancellation, dead cancellation. Amen. Amen. He's doing it. He's doing so it. I can do it. And Praise he God. did it. So Praise God. I it's, just want it, to it's under, sorry not to cut you, but it's so powerful to honor God. It's such Amen. a powerful thing to honor God. My God. Hallelujah. And one thing I could say about you, Roxanne, is that you honor God with, with your finances. You honor him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In every way, the sort of your you honor him. And when you honor God, he honors you. Glory to Amen. God. Amen. Go ahead and speak. I'm Amen. Sorry. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I just wanted to just, you know, just give God thanks. And I just hope that uh, my testimony just would just give someone hope because, uh, you know, there's so many people out there that are really going through and they're silent and they think they're the only ones that's going through it. But I'm here to tell you, I've been through it and God will get you through it and you will come out on top. Just trust God, Amen. believe in him. Pray to him, serve him, follow him, and you will see God come through for you. He will mm -hmm. never fail. He has never failed. It's not one of his characteristics. It's not one of his attributes. He is a God that is faithful, and he will take care of you. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. So if somebody... Remember that prophetic word that there are some bills that's lying around that's just getting on your nerves. Glory to God. And the Lord says he has it. Um, um, he has it thumbtacked. Glory to God. It means that God uh, 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 is going to take care of it for you. No matter what, it means God has got it. It Amen. means God, hallelujah, is going to do it. My, 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 my. It means just continue to trust him. It means continue Amen. to hold on. Glory to God. It means you don't give up. You don't give in. You don't step back. You don't pull back. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You don't waver in your faith. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You continue. Lord, I know uh, my natural eyes, I can't see them. My Amen. God, the spirit man know that once you say you're going to do it, you're not a man that you should lie. Oh, hallelujah know the son of man that you should confess. Oh my mm. God, that you have done it before and I know you could do it again. I know, glory to God, hallelujah, that I've seen you do it for this one. I've seen you mm -hmm. do it for others. Oh hallelujah, the word declares that they overcome by the uh, blood of the lamb and by the, their testimonies. Glory to God, so I have testified oh, of your loving kindness and your tender mercies. So even as I've testified of what you can do, what you will do, what you're gonna do, when I see you doing glory to God, I know mm. that I know that I know somebody needs to grab a hold of this one here. Glory to God. Hallelujah. About those things that's been nagging for a long time. God is going to do this for you. Amen. 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 Glory amen. to God. And amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you for standing with me in prayer and and giving me words of encouragement to not give up. <laughs> I think it was one day you really wanted to knock me out. You said, Roxanne, uh, are you going to believe God? Or are you just going to pout? I was like, okay. <laughs> Praise God. You know, sometimes the flesh get weak. You know, we just have, have to have that person that's going to just give you a nice yes. little pop, a nice little whack. <laughs> To say, come on, get it together. You uh, Amen. Come on. <laughs> amen. Thank you, Mom. Amen. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Death cancellation. Giving God thanks for, for what could have happened, but 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 He He's a God that restores, He saves, He heals. Glory to God. Amen. Amen, amen. We are going to <clears throat> welcome Sister Kimmy. Hi, Pastor Marsha. Hello, hello, hello. So this testimony that I'm about to get is an wow. old So one. I need to just give up. Well, who did I see? Oh, I saw Pastor Reggie. Other than that, nobody else. It's okay. I, I will just hear the beautiful <laughs> voices. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I was actually led to give this testimony when I was um, speaking to you and Pastor Sam about the building when we went to go toward the building the other week. And I said, you know, I think God wants me to share this testimony. So I pray that it will bless somebody as I give it. Amen. So um, in 2011, my mom had passed away and, and she left me a nice size inheritance. 
But due to the amount that was given, I started depending more on the money than God to provide for me. So God used this as a wake up call for me to learn to trust and obey him. Oh, you better preach, girl. Yeah, go ahead and preach. You better preach. Go ahead. Oh, my, my. So my husband would say, you took your eyes off of the giver. And yeah. And you focused on the gift. Yes. My That's God. You, 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 go ahead. I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> so the hardest, but the hardest part about trusting and obeying God is when he tells us to do something that does not make any sense to us. Oh boy. <laughs> Probably has trouble. <laughs> so, um, back in, uh, 2008, while I was listening to, um, Steve Harvey's inspirational moment about faith, as I was driving to work, God whispered to me that I would have to leave my job. So I started thinking to myself, what? I can't leave my job, my good government job with all these benefits. How would I pay my bills? God, you do not like me to owe any, I don't like to owe anybody anything. I like to pay my bills on time, pay my tithes on time and just, you know, be squared away with everybody. Um, so being disobedient, I ignored what he said and I kept on working in the government for about five more years. I knew that I had to make some changes though, because I was not satisfied where I was and I was worried about losing my benefits. So I started applying to other jobs, other IT positions, and I actually happened to get the IT position at my job where I was to be the head of the IT department. I did not get that uh, job, however, but God said to me, you wanted to be a leader in a full-time business owner with a store, right? And I say, yes. And God replies, well, I have something better in store for you. So one day, my husband and I started looking into franchise businesses. We get to a massage place and we thought that this might be a great franchise to check out. Little did I know about a year and a half later that I would be a full-time business owner with a spa in Columbia and have at least 22 employees working for me in an industry I have originally no clue about. Pastor Marsha, I cannot tell you, begin to tell you the miraculous things that he did for me while trying to get in the business and trying to stay in the business from sending the right people to me to work with financing to meeting uh, actually another franchisee who wanted to sell one of her stores so I wouldn't have to build from scratch. And also not worrying about hiring staff right away because I inherited them from the previous owner. Oh, wow. Yeah. God, wow. God is amazing. Wow. So, so pe people who knew the job already, knew the work already, you don't need to go through the hiring process. Of right, the the hiring, the wow. training, we just, you know, they were already there. So God used that business so I could learn to trust him and not depend on money. What? And this is when I really learned to pray and seek God's face. I had that business exactly two years before I sold it. It literally drained all my inheritance. But I thank God led me to someone to purchase it for me. I didn't make any money off of that sale, but it was enough to sustain me until I was able to find a job again in the IT field, which I loved. God protected mm -hmm. my sanity, my house through it all. <laughs> and the most miraculous thing is that the day I sold my business was the, um, was all the money that I had left to pay my employees. If that business had stayed open one more day, I would not have been able to pay my employees. So I can thank <laughs> wow. God that I was able to sell that business in time so that my employees would get paid. <laughs> And, you know, everything was good after that. So I, through the obedience and, and prayer and learning to have faith in God and trusting him and leaning not on my own understanding, God restored me, restored Ooh. my health, no Ooh. more depression. That's another Ooh. testimony, by the way. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> and, give it, girl, give it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I did not foreclose on my house. And God provided me a good government job, which actually happened to be my dream job. So I am so thankful and grateful for this experience. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Amen. And more testimony about my depression. I had actually been on depression medicine probably since I was 16. So wow. that's wow. 
34 years. Well, wow. no, because I've been off of it for five years now. But one day God told me <laughs> that he wanted me to get off my depression medicine. I trusted him. I've been depression free for five years and no more medicine. So for those who are trying to get off of the medicine, he will get you through it. <laughs> God, amen. So you so you you did a leap of faith as 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 part of the Lord. So you're like, oh, I don't want all these drugs in my body. God. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Yeah, my How husband did, yeah. would call me a walking pharmacy. <laughs> what, what, what was that? I didn't hear my you. My husband was calling me a walking pharmacy because I had to take drugs for this, drugs for this, drugs for that. Yes, my <laughs> God, my God, my God. Oh, Bless so God. Good. That's your testimony, and somebody heard it. <clears throat> somebody heard it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And yes, now they yes. can say, you know what? If God did it for her, and God did it for her, the other lady, the pastor lady. Yes, yes, <laughs> God yes. God could do it for me. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And I absolutely love it. that's what many people do. They take their eyes off the giver. Yes. And focus on the gift. Yes. Hallelujah. That would always get us in trouble. My, 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 my. So, so, and I love your transparency because you said I, I would, that's what I would focus on. My Lord, my Lord. Yeah. Lord God. Hallelujah. Um, I'm hearing by the spirits that there is something in the pipeline for you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> there is something in the pipeline for you. There is uh, some kind of major, there's, there's a blessing in the pipeline for you. Amen, I receive it. Yay, mm. yeah. hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, Rabbi Ooh, Saya. Thank Lord, you, God. So just go ahead and you spread it. Tell it already, you say, I receive it. I don't yes. know what it is, but there is a special blessing in the pipeline for you. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Write down the date. Right now, <laughs> time because it's gonna happen in the very near future. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. It, 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 anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just leave it there. <laughs> Be blessed, Sister Kevin. That was so powerful. I'm glad you also gave that second one about being off medication now for f five years. You said. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, ma'am. I thank him for that. I thank him for that. You step out on faith. Amen. 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 Praise God. All right, everybody. I'm excited. Glory to God. Who do we have next? Yes. Yes. Uh, Minister Jason. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. I'll turn my camera on. <laughs> Good. At least I get to see somebody. <laughs> amen. Amen. I would actually just like make two song references to the testament that I was sharing this evening. Uh, one um, being, my life is not my own, but to him I belong. And the other one, um, I'm no longer a slave to fear, but I, I am a child of God. Because I know there are many occasions in which I uh, can I count and which they may want you to take my life. There was years back when I was working for Cold Stone, uh, which is an ice cream shop, or Cold Stone Creamery. And at the time I had no uh, means of transportation other than on foot. So I always walked about a good 35 minutes to and from work, going in the morning and coming home in the evening, just walking. And there was in the, in the process of all of that, at some point, a revelation came forth of the enemy having a plan. And of course, you know, God reveals, always reveals to redeem. And so prayer went forth and the plan of the enemy was shut down. But nonetheless, not, on, on many occasions, the enemy wanted to take my life because there was another time in my life where the enemy, uh, God had revealed rather, uh, I think this was after my second son was born and <clears throat> God had revealed that me driving somewhere I mean, getting in an accident and that accident basically taking my life. But of course, thank God revealed again to redeem because that accident never took place. But God revealed it, in other words, in other words, to have shut, to shut it down. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, and to, to say that, in other words, some people wouldn't, if they heard revelations like that, and if the enemy made many attempts to take their lives, they would become bound to fear. Yes. But 
uh, become bound to fear. I kept living. I kept living for God, living for Jesus, praising and thank for life. You know, they though each day is never promised, but that I am alive to see each day in which He grants me that I'm six feet above and not beneath the earth. Mm. Breathing, I'm still able to see and enjoy what He has given me. Mm. Mm. So, he never left me. He never forsook me. He yeah. never deserted me. He never yeah. gave up on me. He continued to watch over me. Even when I didn't know he was watching over me. Even when I, as I went about the, each day living, as I lived for him, not knowing what the plan the enemy was for, against my life, not knowing what he was going to try to do to take my life, not knowing if I was going to make it, if I was going to survive, but God kept me all these years, and here I am, standing, living, breathing, walking. Oh, my God, giving all the glory and oh. all, all the praise oh, unto Jesus. Any would have lived a life of fear, live a life of bondage to fear, not wanting to step foot out of the home, not oh. wanting to in the car to drive to and from work, not wanting to even to the extent of not wanting to eat, afraid that they're going to choke, afraid that you know something bad is going to happen. But I did not allow for my mind mentality or mindset to become of just that. But I continued to put my trust and faith in Him. No, oh glory! Um, but that to Him I belong. That I'm not a slave to fear but that I am a child of God. So no matter what the enemy would try, how many times he may try, he cannot take my life because it wasn't his to take. It's not. He did not give me life. He did not form me in my mother's womb. He did not give me the purpose for which I was placed on the face of the earth. And so in other words, he cannot take me before time until the purpose for which God had placed me on the face of this earth to fulfill is fulfilled. Only he can call me home, and he, the enemy cannot take me before with that time. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Woo! I'm just letting you preach, boy. Young man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just you preach. Praise God. Oh, see, somebody said it. Preach, minister. <laughs> preach, minister. Sister Kimmy said it. Preach, minister. Jay said, Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Glory to your name, God. My, 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 my. Hallelujah. I'm not a slave to fear. Oh, hallelujah. I'm a child of God. I'm not a slave, my God, to all the times that the enemy to keep that, that, that those things in my mind. Glory to God, because every time he reveals to redeem and every time he has stopped it, every time he has shut it down. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Every time he, uh, 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 even as you move, glory to God, God had a shield. He had a fence around you. Glory to the, 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 the scripture says uh, that for the children of Israel, my God, he appeared as a cloud by day and a fire by night. All of the cloud and the fire and all of that was him protecting them because they were going through the wilderness, my God. A cloud by day and a fire by night. Glory to God uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, so I thank God that he is has been with you, Rabbasiah. Oh, hallelujah. My God, even the time that you didn't see him, he was right there. Oh my God, the time that you didn't necessarily feel him, you were there. So I want to encourage somebody, hallelujah, he is with you. Hallelujah. Do not be a slave to fear. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Glory to God. Do not be a slave to fear. So powerful. So powerful. Amazing. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Amen. 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 Because that's what he wants. That's what he wants for us to be a slave to fear. My God, oh my God, God, can, can God do this? Is God going to do that? Oh my God, I can't leave out of my house. I can't leave, uh, you know, I can't do this. I can't do, do that because, uh, you know, of fear. My God, oh hallelujah. But you are, you made a decision. Oh my, 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 my. You made a decision, glory to God. I am not going to allow. After all, when you think about it, every time he showed up for you, why should I be simple? Every time he showed up, I should not even fear. Amen, somebody. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, my, 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 my. Amen and amen and amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
my God. Amen. Uh, somebody said fear is losing. My God. Yes, fear is losing that battle over there. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. Oh, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Yes, he wants us, so many of us, to live in fear. My God, my God. But we will not, under no circumstances, we will not. My God. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. My God, my God. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Blessed <clears throat> be the name of the Most High God. Amen and amen. Amazing. Just amazing. You know, I have a little word, but the testimony, is, I said it all. I have a little word for uh, for you all today, but it, it's not. Listen, we, 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 we've gotten it all. We had meat, solid meat today. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't know. Somebody's spirit was enlightened today. Uh, my God, somebody was strengthened today. I just heard the Lord said that, that somebody's hope was renewed today. <laughs> Somebody, their situation is contrary to hope. Hello, Rabbi But in hope, my God, he says, I need you to believe. Oh, my God. Abraham is uh, to, be, to be a father, a father of many nations. What? Glory to God. The Bible said, contrary to hope, my God. Hallelujah. My God. The situation was contrary to hope. Yet, yet, in hope. He still believe. My, 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 my. In other words, somebody could call you a fool, an idiot, and some other adjective. But don't you see this thing didn't happen? Don't you see that this thing is not going to happen? Don't you just need to give up on this thing? You are for somebody, somebody out there, God is saying, my God, the devil wants you to give up on marriage. No, 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 no. Glory to God, somebody else. There is a miracle in, in the making for you. But God says, because this delivery is so massive, my God, the devil wants you to give up and say this thing is not going to happen but I'm here to declare to you oh hallelujah hallelujah the bible says contrary to hope why is it contrary to hope a, a, a woman of that age giving birth hello hello and a man of his age glory to God hallelujah a, a impregnating a woman amen glory to God hallelujah Contrary to hope, yet in hope, he still believe. Amen. People say, God says, you'll grasp what you need to grasp. My God, there has been people sitting, 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 sitting. I thank God for the release of all the testimonies from everyone. Glory to God. All the testimonies. Are, oh, my, 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 my. The testimonies from... <clears throat> Pastor Reggie from, uh, was that 19? Uh, I think he says somewhere in the 90s. I think he says 98 or something like that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Um, I, 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 one day before Thanksgiving. Glory to God. I thank God for the testimonies of, of for testimony of a uh, uh, pastor. The Lord, uh, he's, uh, my God, my God, my God. Debt cancellation. My, 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 like no, my God, like no other. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I thank God for Abina. God saved her once again. My God, she needs to write a book on testimony. I can never forget the one she gave me that when, she gave it here when she was in the sea and the sharks and everything. She was out there and God saved her. Oh, my God, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But God saved her. It's like God pushed that vehicle. Oh, my God, my God. Oh, hallelujah. I thank God for Sister Rhea. My God, that the Lord uh, uh, just did a miracle. Although they went and they got what they had to get, my God. Uh, but God says, oh, Rabbi Saya, they were going to have to go back in and they went back in. My God. Uh, oh, glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. You see, thank you, Lord, I hear you. And that's why we cannot put our trust in man. Bakatori aturi anteri katoria. Oh, my God. Some trust in chariots. Uh, my God, the one that trusts in chariots and horses. Uh, are the one that uh, 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 just put their trust 
in the doctor, my God, or put their trust in some other powers, uh, my God, but as for me, David said, my trust is in the Lord, uh, oh my, 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 her trust was in the Lord, and she says, my God, I give you this husband, uh, I give you, my God, the surgery, uh, oh my God, hallelujah, 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 my God, my God, uh, that Rafa, Jehovah Rafa, oh, my Kandelebaho was right there in the surgery, in the, in the operating room, uh, that they would not miss they would not miss my god hallelujah a, 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 a portion that they could have missed uh, if dr jesus wasn't there hey, glory to god uh, oh my my i give god glory here i give him honor and i give him praise my god uh, that jehovah rapha was right there. Oh, what a mighty, 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 mighty God we serve. Minister Roxanne, OMG. <laughs> I got to go over them because they are powerful. Somebody is as overcome and is overcoming and somebody is seeing a prophecy, their own prophecy in these testimonies. Amen, somebody. Glory to God, Minister Roxanne with the years of what she experienced, the years of what she experienced, uh, uh, of what she has gone through, that is only by his grace while she's still standing. My God, only, only, and only by his grace. Uh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Having to raise the children, all the children on her own. Uh, my God, my God. Uh, and but, but it's by faith. I've heard her. She, she's been in my presence. When they called him and said, did you remember to pay your tithes? Did you remember to pay your tithes? You remember the paint tides? <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God because she knows that she knows that she knows that she knows. Glory to God. I remember, remember a testimony of them coming to turn off her power, her whatever. But they, they came in and they said they turned it off, but it was still on. Do you remember that, Roxanne? Oh, my God, my God. Oh, hallelujah. You are another one that needs to write a book. They said, we turned off your, your power, but when she... After they left, the pole was still on. They couldn't turn it off. Come on, somebody. Glory. Hallelujah. My God, when she was left to, to, to suffer and go, go through so much, but God said, no, 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 no. Glory to God. Uh, that's why his hands has been on these children. My God. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what one of the things that she has done is in the multitude of godly counsel. Glory to God. The Bible said there's safety. Ah, So she has gotten godly counsel for her children. And I thank God for their lives. I thank God for their lives. Glory to God. There, Some of them is not where they need to be. Glory to God. But they're sure, 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 sure. They're, they are definitely on a on a street called straight. Nana Soto Rabahanda. My God. Sister Kimmy, Sister Kimmy, Sister Kimmy. I can't even talk. I don't, I don't even know what to say about you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the most high God. She took her eyes off the giver and focused on the gift, thinking that, you know, she was doing this, my God, uh, on her own. Uh, but she came to make her, oh my God, uh, she came to speak it today. She came, my God, to be vocal today and say, I got it wrong then. Uh, that was then, this is now. Uh, I know who my Redeemer is. Uh, I know, glory to God, uh, who has got my back. Uh, I know who has carried me thus far. My God, my God, my God, my God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the most high God. We thank you, Lord, for all that you are doing and all that you have done. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And off of medication, even... Pastor Dolores, off of medication. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Minister Jason, I'm done. <laughs> I'm not a slave to fear. I am. Glory to God, a child of God. Oh, my, my. I, I, like I said, I had a word for today, but we're going to put it We're gonna put it away. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matter of fact, all the Bibles, they're here and everything, but mm -mm. no man, not a Bahia. Okay, that wasn't English. <laughs> I think everybody was well fed. Oh, Jesus. Oh, glory. Oh, y'all gonna make me make some noise in this place. Uh, some people here, my God, I think that some people, everybody was well fed. Glory to God by these testimonies. You all be blessed. Amen. 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 And amen. Woo! Woo! 
Amen. My God, my God. Whoa. We're going to close out now. We're about to close out. Glory to God. And um, wanted to um, to remind you, Korabasaya, hallelujah. You know, I just heard this song, you know who, who has rescued your soul. Glory to God, hallelujah. You know that his blood has covered your sin. I don't know about this song. It just dropped in my spirit just now. Oh, I know he rescued my soul. His blood has covered my sin. I believe. Oh, yes, I believe. Oh, my, my. I don't know if you can find that, Minister Sean. I'll raise the banner. Hey! Hey, glory to God. Oh, raise the banner. What's the banner? Your testimony is that banner. What's that banner? Is what you're speaking. I said, this is what he has done for me. My God, and said, this is what he has done. This is what he's doing. And this is what he will do. My, 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 my. Glory to God. If you can find that song, it was, it, 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 it's just what God is saying to somebody. Hallelujah. Please, can you put up? For me, ways to give, ways to give, ways to give. Praise God. Ways to give, guys. Ways to give. I mean, it's 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 right there. It's right there. Glory to God. He is an amazing God. He is an amazing God. Uh, can I say it? Can I say it? Can I speak it? Glory to God. You know, uh, if that wasn't enough for some of you all, my God, he caused your giving, my God, to come up to him. That's what he said he did. Who was that? Is it Cornelius? Glory to God. He says his is 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 uh, giving. My God became a a testimony. His giving was speaking on his behalf. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the living God. Amen. Amen. So it's here, it's right before you. Glory to God. I encourage you. This is good soil. This is amazing soil. My God, this is, oh my God, my God. This soil is indeed supernatural. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This soil, oh my God, my God, my Kanda Somebody wants to give their business a boost and they're wondering, should I give? Should I give? God say yes. This is a perfect place to give. My God, you want to give your, your business a divine push? He said, this is the perfect place. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <clears throat> As many people know, there are times that I will say, okay, well, this is, you know, I, I, this is what I think you should do. But there are times that I say, listen, this is not me. That was not me. That was God. Korabasaya. Amen. That was God. He's saying, You're pondering, 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 pondering. Stop pondering. Stop pondering. Glory to God. You want your business again to get a divine push. Hey. God it says, I'm going to do it for you. You've been thinking about it. You've been thinking about it. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, hallelujah. It's giving you an answer. Amen. 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 And those are, are, are faithful ones. The faithful ones that have said, glory to God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Uh, make a decision to place God first in their finances. Place God first in every other way. But also, my God, uh, 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 in their finances. Glory to God. Amen. And 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 they are uh have been given to the different uh a part of the children ministry, glory to God, to the storage and different ones, and, and, and the faithful tithers, the faithful givers, glory to God, hallelujah, the ones with the gift of giving, glory to God, hallelujah, my God. And so many of you all have the gift, glory to God, hallelujah, my God, my God. I often say, My God, God is so amazing, He's so faithful, He's faithful to the faithful, amen. And like I said. This is good soil. This is good soil. And that's why I cannot forget Maya's mom. She says, the word came and this is good soil. And she said, listen, I, 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 God put something in my spirit. I didn't, I didn't fight with him. I did what I had to do. Amen. Amen. That was such a powerful testimony. Amen. Glory to God. Um, <clears throat> The ways to give options, options to give, the ways to give, glory to God, is through the website. It's www.everlastinglife.org, www.everlastinglife.org. Click give, then click donate. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Through Cash App. It's Everlasting Life CC. Everlasting Life CC. Amen. Which means Christian Center. Praise God. Praise God. Um, to the good old finance department, it is 
7770. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The finance department, you call and 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 uh <clears throat> And no one answer a call back and you can leave your information there. Hallelujah. My God, it is indeed secured. It is secured. Amen. 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 And amen to PayPal and Zelle. It's finance at everlastinglife.org. It's finance at everlastinglife.org. Glory to God to PayPal and Zelle to the good old mail. It's P.O. Box 1110. Laurel, Maryland, 20725. Again, P.O. Box 1110, Laurel, Maryland, 20725. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for all that you've done, all that you've spoken. Somebody's hope is renewed. Glory to God. I thank you. Glory to God that that, that somebody is has received, my God, their own deliverance through this, this, this word here. Oh, hallelujah. They're not a slave to fear all of it. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus, have your way, God. As we depart from this, my God, venue, from this uh, 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 um, 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 Zoom and, and, and Facebook, but not from your presence. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest, remain, and abide with us all now and forevermore. Amen, amen, and amen. I love you all. Goodbye. Amen.